What's up, everybody? I'm going to give you an overview of some of the pieces I got for the Trailblazer stereo build. I got a pretty good amount of stuff here. I got a... Uh, first of all, let's talk about the power. I got a uh, XS power battery AD3400. In this box, I won't take it out, but it's a Beckman 240 amp alternator I got top post adapters because this battery here I've had it actually for a while this is going to go in the Impala before transmission problems and uh, I'm moving it over to the uh, Trailblazer bins I'm not getting that fixed till uh, springtime so yeah and I'll be getting another 3400 excess power 3400 for the Impala later on but a 240 Amp uh, Mechman, like I said. I got some Sky High Cardio one aught fuse holders. Got four of them. I believe I'm only going to end up using three for this build, and maybe not even three, probably just two in this build. One going from the alternator to the battery, and one going from the battery to the amps. And then I'll have one that goes for each individual amp. I got uh, two Rockford. Uh, side terminal post adapters for GM side posts. Plenty of one aught lugs with red and black heat shrink. A uh, total of 20. Got some Sky High Cardio, twisted RCAs, a four channel, and a two channel. Both 18 foot should be plenty. This box over here, you really can't see it. I got a flashlight somewhere. Hold on. I got some 4 gauge. Yeah, you don't even see the flashlight. Hold on. I'm trying to do this one hand. I could turn my big light on, but it's pain. I got some 4 gauge and some 1 aught, all black and. Uh, this, this flashlight sh sh garbage. All black and blue. And the red's down there, some uh, remote wire. Got a 50 foot roll of remote wire. Didn't really mean that much, but hey, it's all I could bind in was red, so I got red. That routed the rest of it for right now. So, got 20 foot of blue, 1 aught, 10 foot of 1 aught black for ground, 10 foot of positive 4 gauge for the amplifiers, and 10 foot of negative for the amplifiers. Uh, it has in it, right now, I put these in not too long ago. It's got a set of Rockford Punch. Uh, let me go ahead and autofocus. Punch P one six five SE components up front, and it's got to set up the P one six five zero six and a half inch coaxials in the rear doors. And then it's got a Sony WXGT ninety BT head unit. I put them in. And I really didn't do no uh, videos about it just because. I throw them in. They'll all be powered. And I guess I can show you guys the plans here. Let me go ahead and find it. Here it is. I plan to do a Rockford box, all Rockford gear. I'm not going to build my own box. I just figured this is the easiest way to do it. I'm going to do it with some P3-12s. Uh, Two of them in their box. I'm going to go with a Punch 1000. X1 BD amplifier for the subs. I'm gonna go a four a punch 400 times four for the uh, door speakers, and they'll get a level control and some uh, gauge flitters and odds and ends. But that's gonna be the basic stuff, and this is what I've collected. So guys, get ready for some update videos on this build. So we'll catch you guys later. Peace.